by circumventing the committal process in the parish court, we have basically shaved off about a year. Mr. Ruddock made his first appearance before the court in the Supreme Court uh, in Kingston. I preferred the voluntary bill of indictment which charges him with the murder of Tanika Gardner and the judge has assigned him legal aid counsel, one counsel who was in court very graciously indicated to the court that she was prepared to accept an assignment and the learned judge indicated that given the circumstances she believed that it would be prudent to assign an even more senior counsel as well to lead this counsel who was assigned in court today so the registrar's representative was asked to write to the legal aid counsel to make sure that that senior counsel is assigned and will be present in court next week when the, when the matter comes back to court. For the record, could you state the, law, the, the name of the presiding judge, please? Mrs. Justice Vinet Graham Allen. And the counsel that was, um, that took it up? I you remember didn't her? quite get her name. It's the first time I'm meeting her, but suffice it to say that she was very gracious professionally mm -hmm. to um, indicate that she was prepared to accept the assignment. And I served her with a copy of the voluntary bill of indictment. Um, and what is expected on Wednesday now? Next week, Wednesday, the same attorney today will return and the senior attorney, or senior to her, who will be leading her in the matter, should be present having uh, been assigned or and then we will have a situation where the learned judge will inquire into what the allegations are on the ground so that she can be best informed in respect of the way forward and how to treat with the particular accused person. What is a voluntary bill of indictment? A voluntary bill of indictment is simply put the process and the document that is used by the DPP in initiating prosecution. Under section 94 of the constitution, the power is vested in the DPP and the DPP alone to initiate prosecution, take over a prosecution, or discontinue a prosecution. Now, the voluntary bill of indictment is used where the accused is placed before the court on the indictment in a situation where there were no committal proceedings in the court below. Because in the normal course of things, the police arrest and charge, they lay what is called an information in the parish court. The matter goes before the parish court judge and it is readied for committal proceedings. That is where the magistrate will be satisfied that there was a prima facie case made out on paper of murder because the parish court judge would not have the jurisdiction to try a murder case that can only be done by a high court judge. So if the DPP decides that looking at all the factors, you may have vulnerable witnesses, you have a vulnerable accused, you have security concerns, you have um, other public interest concerns, as in this case, the pool of jurors would be much more in Kingston and St. Andrews than in Montego Bay, given the nature of the circumstances, the fairness requirement to the accused would be more enhanced if it is taken outside of St. James, where the matter has been quite notorious. Also, the witnesses and the victims would be assured that they will not need to feel a sense of intimidation in respect of the persons who may still be widely under the influence of the former pastor in this matter. 
then in all the circumstances and also to fast track it because some matters in respect of the availability of the witnesses do better when it comes to trial much earlier so by circumventing the committal process in the parish court we have basically shaved off about a year so with that the dpp um, has exercised or should i say i have exercised my constitutional powers in this matter to prefer the bond of the cabinet and this was done in the interest of justice which really embraces fairness for the accused fairness for the victims and the witnesses and of course for the community who have a vested interest in seeing and being assured of the credibility of the system of justice and the rule of law that operates in this country. Will this be a judge alone trial? Let us take it a step at a time. In fairness to the accused, it is only right that he be allowed to converse with his attorneys who will be assigned and it will give us an opportunity to serve the attorneys with the material that has already been gathered.